Imagine waking up to the ground shaking beneath you, your home crumbling around you. It's a terrifying thought, isn't it? But for some, it's not just a thought, it's a reality. Welcome to Reliable Prepper, where we don't just imagine these scenarios, we prepare for them. Today, we're going to talk about times when staying home is no longer an option, when the only choice left is to flee. Now, you might be thinking, that will never happen to me. But the truth is, it could. Every year, people around the world are forced to leave their homes due to a myriad of threats. From natural disasters like earthquakes and hurricanes to man-made catastrophes like industrial accidents and wars, the reasons to evacuate are many and varied. Take the residents of Paradise, California, for example. In 2018, they woke up one morning to find their town engulfed in flames. The campfire, as it came to be known, claimed over 80 lives and destroyed nearly 19,000 buildings. Those who survived were forced to flee their homes with little more than the clothes on their backs. Or consider the people of Fukushima, Japan in 2011. A massive earthquake and tsunami triggered a nuclear meltdown, rendering the area uninhabitable. Over 150,000 residents were evacuated, many of whom have still not been able to return to their homes. These are just two examples of real-world scenarios where evacuation was not just necessary, but life-saving. And while we can't predict when or where the next disaster will strike, we can prepare for it. We can learn from these experiences and take steps to ensure our own survival. So whether you're a seasoned prepper or just starting out, stay with us as we explore the different scenarios that might force you to leave your home. We'll provide you with actionable steps to ensure you're ready to face any emergency no matter how daunting it may seem. With that in mind, let's delve into the various scenarios that might force us to leave our homes. Mother Nature can be beautiful, but also terrifyingly destructive. Earthquakes, for instance, can strike without warning, rattling our homes and potentially causing catastrophic structural damage. It's not just the initial shock that's dangerous, but also the aftershocks and the risk of landslides or tsunamis that can follow. Volcanic eruptions, on the other hand, often give some warning signs. Yet, their power is immense and can lead to devastating consequences. Lava flows can incinerate everything in their path, while ash clouds can darken skies for hundreds of miles, disrupting air travel and contaminating water supplies. Then we have landslides and avalanches, triggered by heavy rainfall, rapid snowmelt, or seismic activity. These can bury homes and roads in an instant, cutting off escape routes and making rescue efforts challenging at best. Floods, too, can be swift and unrelenting, turning placid streams into roaring rivers that sweep away everything in their path. Tsunamis, on the other hand, often caused by undersea earthquakes or landslides, can wash away entire coastal communities with very little warning. But let's not forget about the cyclonic storms, hurricanes, typhoons, and cyclones. These bring not only high winds, but also torrential rains and storm surges, causing extensive flooding and destruction. And then there are wildfires, which can spread rapidly, especially in dry conditions, engulfing homes and landscapes in their fiery wrath. These natural disasters are stark reminders of our vulnerability in the face of Mother Nature's power. They underscore the importance of being prepared and having a plan. Knowledge is power. So familiarize yourself with the types of natural disasters that could occur in your area. Check your local emergency evacuation plans, know your escape routes, and always have a go bag ready at hand. Remember, the key to survival is not only to react, but also to anticipate. Stay vigilant, stay informed, and most importantly, stay safe. Because when Mother Nature shows her destructive side, sometimes the only option is to get out of her way. Always have an emergency evacuation plan and a go bag ready at hand. Not all disasters come from nature's wrath. Sometimes it's our own creations that pose the greatest risks. Consider industrial accidents. From oil refineries to chemical plants, the machinery we use to fuel our modern lives can fail. And when it does, the results can be catastrophic. Toxic chemicals or gases can leak into the environment, contaminating the air we breathe and the water we drink. In moments like these, evacuation is your only option. You can't fight a cloud of toxic gas. You can't reason with it. You can only escape it. Then there's the specter of nuclear power plant meltdowns. The names Chernobyl, and Fukushima still send chills down our spines. In these situations, radiation leaks can make entire regions uninhabitable for decades, even centuries. Again, the best you can do is distance yourself from the threat as quickly as possible. And let's not forget about dam failures. 
These structures hold back millions of gallons of water. If they break, the resulting flood can wipe out everything in its path. Dam failures can happen due to poor maintenance, natural disasters, or even sabotage. In each of these scenarios, the key to survival is rapid evacuation. It's crucial to know your local industrial hazards, understand the warning signs, and have a plan to get out quickly when things go wrong. Remember, in a man-made disaster, time is your enemy. The faster you can act, the better your chances of survival. So research your area, identify potential risks, and make a comprehensive evacuation plan. This plan should include multiple routes out of town, meeting points for family members, and a list of essential items to take with you. And most importantly, once you have a plan, practice it. Run drills with your family. Make sure everyone knows what to do and where to go. In the heat of the moment, confusion can be as deadly as any disaster. So when it comes to man-made disasters, remember this. Know your local industrial hazards and have a plan for rapid evacuation. Sometimes it's not nature or accidents, but humans creating the chaos. Indeed, history has shown us that conflict and war can turn a peaceful dwelling into a danger zone overnight. First, let's talk about active combat zones. Imagine living in a city where bullets and bombs become part of the daily soundtrack. Streets that once echoed with the laughter of children now reverberate with the sounds of gunfire and explosions. This is the grim reality for those living in active combat zones. Buildings crumble, essential services fail, and the risk of injury or death is ever-present. Next, consider the horrors of ethnic violence. These scenarios arise when tensions between different ethnic or religious groups escalate into full-blown conflict. In these cases, being a member of a targeted group can put you in immediate danger. Homes are ransacked, neighborhoods are torched, and innocent people are forced to flee in fear for their lives. Lastly, we have the threat of hostile occupations. When a region is occupied by hostile forces, the normal rules of society no longer apply. Basic rights can be stripped away, curfews enforced, and freedom of movement severely restricted. In such situations, staying at home could mean living under constant surveillance, fear, and repression. These scenarios are harsh, yes, but they're not unthinkable. They've happened before and they could happen again. So what do you do if you find yourself in the midst of such chaos? You need to have a plan, a network of safe locations you can retreat to when staying home is no longer an option. And most importantly, you need to stay informed. Keep an eye on the news. Be aware of the geopolitical tensions that could spark a conflict in your area. Knowledge, as they say, is power. It gives you the foresight to see danger coming and the time to act before it's too late. So, stay informed about geopolitical tensions and have a network of safe locations. Because when it comes to survival, preparedness is your strongest ally. Invisible threats can be just as deadly as those we can see and touch. As we continue our journey into scenarios that may force us to flee our homes, let's not overlook biological threats. These can be as widespread as pandemics, or as localized yet devastating as biological attacks. Epidemics and pandemics, for instance, can sweep across nations and continents, leaving destruction in their wake. They're not a thing of the past, either. The Spanish flu of 1918, the H1N1 pandemic of 2009, and the global reach of COVID-19 are stark reminders of how quickly these diseases can spread and the havoc they can wreak. Being prepared for such a scenario is not just about having a stockpile of canned goods or a well-armed bunker. It's about understanding how diseases spread, knowing the signs and symptoms to look out for, and being ready to isolate yourself and your loved ones to prevent further spread. But what about a more targeted threat, like a biological attack or accident? This could involve the release of harmful bacteria, viruses, or toxins either intentionally or unintentionally. The effects can range from mild illness to severe and fatal diseases, depending on the agent and the level of exposure. In these situations, swift evacuation may be necessary, especially if containment is no longer an option. However, it's equally crucial to know when to stay put, to avoid potential exposure, or to prevent spreading the threat to others. Knowledge is power in these scenarios. Understanding how to recognize a potential biological threat, being aware of the necessary protective measures, and knowing when and how to evacuate safely can make all the difference. Preparation also involves maintaining a stockpile of medical supplies, including prescription medications, over-the-counter remedies, and first aid essentials. Ensuring you have protective gear like masks and gloves can also be vital in minimizing exposure to biological threats. 
The key to surviving a biological threat like any other lies in preparation and knowledge, so don't wait until it's too late. Maintain a stockpile of medical supplies and understand quarantine procedures. It's better to be safe than sorry. Our homes are our fortresses, but what if they turn against us? This is a question that's not often considered until it's too late. One of the less thought about, but very real threats we face is structural failure. This can be due to a variety of factors such as age, poor construction, or even seismic activity. Imagine this, you're sitting at home, maybe watching a show or having dinner with your family, when suddenly the floor beneath you gives way. In an instant, your safe haven becomes a danger zone. Structural collapses can happen unexpectedly and can be devastating. They can trap you under debris, cut off escape routes, or even cause fatalities. But it's not just about the buildings themselves. Sometimes the systems within them can pose a threat too. Take for instance, gas leaks. Natural gas is a common energy source for many homes. It's efficient and generally safe, but a leak can lead to catastrophic consequences. An undetected gas leak can cause health issues from minor headaches to serious respiratory problems. And in the worst case scenario, it can lead to an explosion turning a home into a deadly trap. So what can we do to protect ourselves from these risks? The answer lies in prevention and preparedness. Regular home inspections are crucial. These can help identify potential structural issues before they become a problem. Look for signs like cracks in the walls or ceilings, doors that won't close properly, or uneven floors. These are all warning signs that something might be wrong. In the case of gas leaks, maintaining gas detection equipment is essential. Many detectors on the market today can alert you to a leak before it becomes a danger. Remember, gas leaks often have a distinct smell, but in some cases, they can be odorless, making a detector even more crucial. In the end, it's important to remember that our homes, as secure as they may seem, can also pose risks. But by staying vigilant, conducting regular inspections, and maintaining proper safety equipment, we can mitigate these threats. Regular home inspections and gas detection equipment can save lives. So make it a part of your preparedness plan. After all, safety starts at home. When the systems we rely on fail, we're left to fend for ourselves. Imagine a world where the structures of law and order have crumbled. The police are no longer patrolling the streets, courts are shut down, and prisons are left unguarded. It's a chilling thought, isn't it? This is the reality of societal collapse, an extreme scenario that can occur when governments fail, economies collapse, or large-scale disasters strike. Without the structures of law and order, crime can quickly become rampant. Basic human rights may be disregarded, leading to significant safety risks. It's a grim picture, but one that has played out in various forms throughout history. From the fall of the Roman Empire to more recent examples like the economic collapse in Venezuela, societal collapse is a harsh reality that can't be ignored. But the breakdown of law and order is just the tip of the iceberg. Imagine a situation where essential services we take for granted like water, food, and medical care are no longer available. Power outages stretch on indefinitely, water supplies are contaminated or cut off, and hospitals are overwhelmed or shuttered. Supermarkets are emptied, and the supply chains that keep them stocked are broken. This is the stark reality of a society in collapse. In such cases, survival becomes a community effort. Neighbors must band together for protection and resource sharing. Skills like hunting, gardening, and basic medical care become invaluable. It's also crucial to have a backup plan for accessing essential services. This might include maintaining a stockpile of food and water, having a generator for power, or knowing how to purify water from natural sources. Remember, the goal isn't to scare you, but to prepare you. Awareness of these potential scenarios and how to navigate them can make all the difference when faced with such challenges. So when the structures that hold our society together start to crumble, what will you do? Your survival may depend on your ability to adapt and your willingness to work together with those around you. Build a community network and have a backup plan for essential services. Sometimes danger flows right into our neighborhoods. One such peril is large-scale hazardous material spills or leaks. These incidents can occur anywhere, from industrial complexes to the trucks and trains that carry these materials. When these substances escape, they can pose severe health risks and environmental damage. They can contaminate our air, water, and soil, making our homes uninhabitable. For instance, the spillage of chemicals such as benzene or chlorine can lead to respiratory problems, skin and eye irritation, and in extreme cases could be fatal. 
Oil spills, while often associated with offshore drilling accidents, can also occur inland. This black, sticky substance can seep into the ground and water supplies, causing significant harm to both humans and wildlife. The cleanup process is lengthy, and the environmental effects can last for years. Radioactive material leaks are another concern. While rare, incidents like the Fukushima disaster remind us of the grave dangers. Exposure to high levels of radiation can cause immediate sickness or long-term health issues like cancer. Moreover, the area around the leak may remain unsafe for decades, forcing residents to abandon their homes permanently. Now, it's not our intention to scare you, but to arm you with knowledge. Understanding these risks can help you respond effectively if such an event occurs in your vicinity. It's crucial to listen to local authorities and emergency services who have the training to handle these dangerous situations. In the event of a hazardous spill, you might be asked to evacuate immediately. So have a plan, know your local evacuation routes. Keep a go bag packed with essentials. And remember, it's not just about physical preparations. Mental readiness is equally important. Stay calm, act swiftly, and ensure the safety of your loved ones. Also, familiarize yourself with your local hazardous material response plans. These documents outline the procedures for dealing with such incidents and can provide valuable information on what to expect and how to react. In conclusion, hazardous material spills are a real threat that we must be prepared for. So know your local hazardous material response plans and evacuation routes. It's better to be safe than sorry. When politics interfere with safety, we must be ready to move. Geopolitical crises are a reality of our world. These crises can manifest in many forms, but the common thread is their potential to force us from our homes. Whether it's a result of military operations or large-scale infrastructure failures, our safety can be compromised in the blink of an eye. Imagine a scenario where military operations are looming on the horizon. You're living in an area that's suddenly become a strategic point of interest for warring factions. This is not a hypothetical situation. It's a grim reality for many people around the world. In such situations, the only viable option is to evacuate as quickly and as safely as possible. Now, let's consider a different kind of geopolitical crisis, infrastructure failures. Governments are responsible for maintaining the lifelines of our society, things like water supply, power grids, and transportation systems. But what happens when these systems fail on a large scale? We've seen it happen before, from the power grid failure in India in 2012 that left over 600 million people without electricity to the Flint water crisis in Michigan. When these essential services collapse, staying home can quickly become a health hazard. In both these scenarios, the key to survival is preparedness. You need to have a plan in place and be ready to execute it at a moment's notice. This means understanding the geopolitical landscape, being aware of potential threats, and having a bug out plan ready. This plan should include a safe destination, a mapped out route, and a well-stocked emergency kit. Keep in mind your first option may not always be available, so it's important to have backup plans as well. Remember, when it comes to survival, information is your best weapon. Stay updated on political developments, both local and global. This will help you anticipate potential crises and act swiftly when they strike. When politics interfere with safety, we must be ready to move. Stay updated on political developments and have a bug out plan ready. Some threats come from above or below, giving no warning. Imagine this. You're enjoying a quiet evening at home, when out of nowhere the ground shakes beneath you. Not an earthquake, but something far more ominous. A sinkhole has opened up, swallowing everything in its path, including your home. These sudden geological events can occur with little to no warning, often due to factors like erosion, water drainage, or even human activities such as mining. While rare, their unpredictability necessitates preparedness. Now, let's look to the skies. You might associate asteroids with science fiction, but the reality is our planet has a long history of asteroid impacts. While most are small and burn up in our atmosphere, larger ones have the potential to cause significant damage. Remember the dinosaurs? They didn't see it coming either. The truth is, these scenarios are less likely compared to natural disasters or societal collapse. Still, as unlikely as they might seem, they underscore a vital point. Preparedness is not about predicting every possible scenario. It's about being ready to adapt, to think on your feet, and to respond to the unexpected. Whether it's a sinkhole opening up beneath your feet or an asteroid streaking across the sky, the key to survival is flexibility. 
Your preparedness plan must be adaptable to a range of scenarios, some of which you may never have considered. This means having a go bag ready, knowing your local evacuation routes and maintaining a network of safe locations. It also means staying informed about global threats and developments. In a world of uncertainties, one thing remains certain. The unexpected will happen, so don't limit your preparedness to the most common scenarios. Think outside the box. Consider the unlikely, the unpredictable, the extraordinary. Because when it comes to survival, it's not just about outlasting the disaster, it's about being prepared to face whatever comes your way. Stay informed about global threats and have a flexible preparedness plan. Remember, preparedness is key to survival. Whether facing a natural disaster, a man-made catastrophe, or a sudden geopolitical crisis, having a plan and being ready to act on it can make all the difference. It's not just about having the right supplies. It's about understanding the risks, knowing your options, and making smart decisions under pressure. So keep learning, keep preparing, and stay vigilant. Subscribe for more survival tips and information, and share your own experiences or questions in the comments.